Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Ratku Tarot and this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and uh, Taurus Rising Weekly Tarot and Lenormand Reading for January 28th to February 3rd, 2019 and uh, while I'm doing the shuffling uh, I want to remind you once again guys that that is going to be a, a general reading for uh, Taurus Star Sign and uh, for that reason this general reading is going to resonate in a different level with uh, every single different Taurus. So in this video I will do my best to uh, explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, as well their synergy in the spread but ultimately at the end you will have to align this general reading with your personal situation as uh, I said uh, every single different Tauruses are going to have different situation at hand. So um, if you want your personal situation to be uh, analyzed through tarot by me, just like I'm doing for the few examples I'm going to give you in this video, that is a, a subject for a, a personal reading. And for personal readings, uh, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you can find a, a full list of my services as well as uh, their pricing. So uh, these are the four general cards, and this is also going to be an enhanced tarot spread which means that we're going to draw additional card per position and uh, by the look of it it's uh, it, it, again it does depend on your personal situation guys but this truly looks like a, a romantic interest uh, that comes around and actually as having the two of cups this is more like a uh, making your current romantic interest more closer than ever before so if you have uh, you know someone that you are interested in well that is going to be the week uh, for what it seems i mean uh, you will be able to make uh, a, a very substantial contact and under contact i mean any kind of contact with this guy or a woman now that is displayed here with these couple of cards and the four of pentacles it kind of stands in a little bit of a and um, ominous position but it's not something that you cannot overcome but we're gonna get into that in a minute so let's indulge deeper into uh, the tarot cards with additional per position so here it is we do have the king of wands with the five of wands so what these cards are pointing is that we do have a person here that again it can be your uh, romantic interest uh, and in a very few cases, this could be as well a um, business partnership. But that ain't going to be a, a proposition. It's, it's more like a, this person that we do have with the five of wands. They struggle to make, to align themselves with you with one way or another. Just to give you an example, let's say that that is a romantic interest of yours. They really like you because that is a, a mutual thing, all right? I mean, it's not just only you liking them, but they also likes you. However, there is a, a peripheral thing that obstructs them of giving you their full attention. That could be a, a current relationship that they have, which is already dead. It could be some other obligations that they do have to the world around them, uh, which kind of deprives them from free time or from capability in general, you know, to give you the, in the intention, um, the attention, excuse me, you deserve. However, <clears throat> excuse me, in this week, they will try to do whatever they can in order to get out of their way, uh, of their current chosen way, so they can, you know, contribute toward that mutual interaction as much as possible. However, you need to know that that person requires a lot. I mean, we do have the King of Wands, and this is the most needy one, all right? This is the one who has the highest expectations. This is the card, the court card of all of the um, of all of the court cards that has uh, the most high standards. I mean, with this with this person, there are no rooms for, um, or at least for them, there are no rules for compromises. It is just they they expect something to happen, and if it's not happened based on their expectations, uh, you know they. 
they basically are very very disappointed and that could be as well the end of the enterprise either but however throughout this week that person is going to try to provoke a lot of um, well let's say a lot of surprises so they can um, let's say they can spend more time with you or uh, they can get closer to you as uh, as possible but also as the five of wands it is a general card you may be required to do the same thing either so i mean and as i said yeah, they are people with uh, high expectations i mean they will do their moves but also they will expect you to do the same kind of uh, um, the same kind of moves of your behalf so if for example they skip work so they can spend time with you they will expect you to do the same thing and uh, there won't be any any compromise with that so if you decide to involve with this person either business wise or relationship wise you have to be ready to meet their expectations and in that specific case just so you do exclude any wrangles here because the five of wands is also a card of arguments and etc etc uh, <clears throat> It will be best, you know, if you lay out open, you know, what you are ready to do for this partnership. I will name it partnership. Um, and uh, so they can kind of like scale carefully. Can they handle it actually? So then we do go to the core of the situation, the two of cups, which points to the mutual interest into one another. And then we do have the page of wands, which points toward these cards are pointing the mutual interest and yet the incapability until this very moment the things actually to happen because we do have passive uh, passive enemies and what these cards are pointing is that uh, this thing that you do have in between one another for example mutual business interest or mutual emotional interest into one another were unable to start for one or another reason basically what we do have here is no go until this very moment but now as this is the core of the situation this was the situation until this very moment you know now a huge amount of energy has been released uh, in this week which can make your thing um, happening or this so yearnable uh, interaction with that guy or with that girl uh, happening and another example let's say that you are co-workers together and some sort of a code of conduct uh, it's obstructing you to be more than just co-workers you know and uh, it is what we're talking about here you need both of you need you need to go out of your character out of your way out of that code of conduct which will be present which such an opportunity will be presented throughout this week so you can make that bondage happening all right it's not going to happen on its own accord this is what i'm trying to say and uh, as this is a general reading here uh you will have the opportunity to do so but if you don't have the courage to do so uh you're going to basically miss that window uh that window of opportunity because this person is going to do their part, all right? And it's up to you to do yours. That is, uh, that is very important. Uh, an additional thing here with these couple of cards uh, that could be something completely unrelated to your situation. It will relate to a very few of you Tauruses. Is that you may be sick of uh, placing great hopes in other people. And although you do have mutual interest into one another, you are convinced self-convinced excuse me that you are better on your own which is totally fine and if that's your case and you decide not to involve yourself i mean you can completely skip that and uh, this week is gonna go completely as predicted um, or kind of like as expected on your behalf uh, <clears throat> from the previous um, from the previous week the next card that we do have that is going to be the four of pentacles and what we do have with this card these are actually the challenges that you need to overcome and in this particular case that card reflects to the uh to the security and to the warranties that you are going to have or you will want you will gonna want from this partnership to present you so, for example, if that is a law of partnership um, that opens for you before you commit, you will want a warranty here that this is going to be 
kind of like this is going to end up with marriage, right? Unfortunately, with all these fiery cards, such a security and such a warranty cannot be given, all right? And uh, basically, you, you have to take the leap of faith here based on these cards. I mean, you cannot step on the uh, on, on on such a, a solid patterns, such an established patterns that you may want to. And uh, it will be kind of like the challenge here is going to be the, to take the risk. The additional card to the Four of Pentacles, uh, that is going to be the Seven of Wands, and we do have passive neutrals, so, uh, and the Seven of Wands kind of speaks for itself, that is the card of resistance, so this is going to be a, a personal inner resistance, and as a passive neutrals, it means that it's going to linger within you for a, quite a while here, so you cannot just, you know, get rid of this sense of, uh, of insecurity, and yet that sense of insecurity lingers within you, all right, and you just have to, you just have to overcome it, in one way or another, usually with these cards, uh, as you have such a defensive positions, and such a defensive measures, uh, here it's gonna pass away with the time itself, so it's kind of like you need to, you need to, um, defeat yourself and your self uh, and your sense of mistrust in this uh, in this particular uh, in this particular case for the week of um, January 28 to February uh, to February 3rd <clears throat> As we said, the Four of Pentacles, it's kind of like taking defensive measures. And just to give you an example of that, following the law of interest here, all right, uh, as you go uh, out of those code of conduct, and let's say you consider making a romantic relationship with this co-worker of yours, yet we do have another heel to overcome here, which is your personal sense of insecurity, um, wanting a uh, kind of like a proof from that guy or a girl that this is not going to be just a one night thing or a uh, carefree relationship where you both are, have no obligations toward one another whatsoever. So in other words, friends with benefits. And again, uh, you may kind of receive some warranties, all right, but it's not going to be as just as, uh, it's not going to be nearly as much as you would require. However, uh, following the next card that we do have here, that is going to be the Six of Cups, which asks you, that is the guidance card, and it basically tells you to give yourself to the pleasure. It's, it simply asks you to indulge yourself with this emotional connection, if I may express myself that way. Furthermore, uh, you do have quite in common uh, with this person. As a matter of fact, looking at these cards, I do believe that you have um, shared some uh, personal moments with them. I mean, shared like, uh, told them for a personal moment of yours. Uh, they told you for a personal moment of theirs and etc. etc. So you do have more in common uh, than just a, a common ownership or, or partnership business that that it is or common friendship here and the whole thing is for you to recognize that and just as i said you know guys give it a go and uh, whatever happens um, happens because with these cup of cards that we do have here as the challenges that are causing predicaments you need to know that you're not the only one um Wanting this guy, additionally, uh, this guy or this woman, additionally with five of uh, five of wands here. So if you do pass and miss that opportunity, someone else ain't going to, and someone else is going to take uh, on this, um, basically on that price. But again, if you are feeling that you are better on your own feel free to do it. So what we talk about here is potential and possibility. This reading is not meant to take away your free will of deciding for yourself what is best for you. So the additional card to the uh, Six of Cups, that is going to be the Five of Cups, which uh, basically asks you to, as I said, indulge yourself with uh, with the pleasure that it is offered to you and that you need to keep on walking on this path even though a, a similar situation in the past end up in a poignant way. So uh, <clears throat> we do have here as a guidance additionally to indulging yourself also the lesson that uh, 
you should not judge the uh, future by your past. So just because before you do had a, a similar circumstances that you created a relationship, uh, either business partnership or a, a romantic partnership end up badly or end up, ended up uh, in a poignant way, this doesn't mean that any future relationship uh, or a business partnership is going to end that way. So uh, additionally to indulging yourself with the pleasures here that this person is offering to you also asks you not to be way too judgmental and just to really give yourself a chance to be happy. It is, it is all that it is asked from you to, to give yourself a chance. <clears throat> because being closed within yourself and uh, not allowing anybody to walk in, uh, it's gonna give you only loneliness, guys. And uh, you, I don't know if you realize uh, the uh, the luck that you do have throughout this week, uh, because usually uh, when you are to meet someone that you can involve yourself in, that that happens with uh, with a lot of socializing. Well, here this uh, this person is to approach you for what it seems. So you don't have to do anything uh, as a first move, but yet you have to help it after the first move has been uh, has been done. So that was the tarot reading here. And now let me shuffle the uh, the Lenormand cards. And what they are to show us uh, is a uh, event that you should either look forward to or uh, try to avoid. All right. So the first card that we do have, this is going to be the cross, and the cross is associated with suffering, is associated with, uh, with despondency as well, uh, with guilt either and in generally with bad uh, feelings and emotions and then we do have the Sun and the Sun it's uh, is associated with great amounts of success with great amounts of work of luck and it's one of the most positive cards in uh, in the Lenormand deck and then we do have the mountain and the mountain is associated guys with uh, delays is associated with problems but also is associated with uh, a way around, all right? So it's a way around. So what we do have here uh, is that you are going to have the event or rather the circumstances which will allow you to traverse the uh, suffering poignancy and really as you can see here, look at it. Uh, this is the first time I'm seeing it that way, you know, uh, being uh, despondent and being uh, being unhappy and etc, etc here, uh, thinking what way, what you should do from now on, suddenly, you know, everything turns out bright and uh, with the appearance of that guy or with the first move that they do and now you can sense the great amounts of uh, luck that you are experiencing at your behalf and the great amounts of success, although realizing that uh, this will not go without any problems which are coming here from the uh, uh, reassurances that you may require from that guy or from that girl to give you for the, their seriousness and their commitment and etc etc and yet there is a another way there is a way around it which you can actually take it it's the long part for example first instead of committing deeply you know to just kind of get to know each other more intimately and etc etc instead of as i said jumping prematurely into a, a deeper relationship and as this is uh, overcome then the success is coming around. So basically this was uh, your um, general tarot reading Tauruses for January 28th to February 3rd 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, once again this was a general reading for Taurus's star sign and for that reason it's going to resonate in a different way with every single different Taurus because you do have different situations. 
Uh, if you want your personal situation to be analyzed through tarot cards by me, just like I did for the few for, for the few examples in this video, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.